is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Oxygen OS on this device and this is the 21st May 2020 build of this ROM over here and this is based on OnePlus 7's Oxygen OS and you can see the version from here 10.3.2 and you can like get the download links and stuff from the description box below or this telegram group I'll link everything below in the description so don't worry now here if you notice the bugs listed in this telegram channel that's double tap to wake toggle Dolby audio SD card data switch tile and the encryption bug you have to be decrypted over here if you want to flash this oxygen OS I'm going to talk about the flashing in a moment in terms of that data switch toggle as far as I know the mobile data will actually work but you cannot turn off the mobile data so that's one bug that's there now let me move on to like talking about the flashing stuff I would say the flashing is very simple if your storage is decrypted now how do you get your storage decrypted on your redmi note 7 pro let me boot into the recovery first then i'll tell you so as you can see i have successfully booted into the recovery but it did not ask me any password that means my storage is decrypted so if it asks you for a password you need to format the data now how do you format the data if you are asking you need to go to menu then this manage partition select the data then tap right and then format data and type yes it will work fine then you can reboot your recovery and then flash the rom with magisk that will work now let me show you which recovery i am on right now the version as you can see this is the orange fox version r10.1 underscore 2 the latest orange fox recovery as of right now i am on so with this recovery what you need to do is you just go to this ota and again from this menu section you go to the settings and then OTA and here make sure you have this disable force encryption enabled if you have this disable force encryption feature enabled you can flash any ROM without fcrypt disabler or magisk that will keep your storage decrypted that is how I flash the ROM but let me talk which files did I flash again and here the oxygen OS version already includes the gapps of course so you don't need the gapps separately I have flashed this oxygen OS violet one plus seven and version 1.2 this rom file which includes gapps again and i have flashed it with the magisk version 20.4 that worked super fine and i just rebooted and it booted me into the ui and i was on the pixel plus ui on this redmi note 7 pro and my storage was decrypted so i wiped cache dalvik system data and vendor then i flashed in the same way the rom file and the magisk and i rebooted my storage still like kept decrypted so i did not need to format data at this time because my storage was already decrypted but if your twrp or orange fox does for password that means your storage is encrypted and you need to format data now the first thing that i have been liking over here is this notch section it looks pretty cool usually the like redmi note 7 pro's notch is kind of a bit weird has corners over here that i can say but it shows kind of a rounded teardrop kind of look i would say or water drop kind of notch it like has become right now so yeah it looks pretty cool and this is the like let me show you the launcher settings as you can see this is the oxygen waste kind of launcher it says one plus launcher version 4.1.3 the stock launcher over here let me go back and here in the settings you can see we can add icons to the home screen swipe down to get the quick settings panel is there the shelf is there and then double tap to lock is there so that you can double tap anywhere on the home screen it will lock your device launcher layout you can change it from here and then we have the drawer style and it works fine then notification dots and stuff is there you can change the icon packs if you would like and the like only one option is there in terms of the icon pack as you can see the system on and home screen layout you can change from here i have increased the size of the icons let me go back we have the hidden space option now here talking with the stock launcher we have the shelf on the left side of the home screen and i have added couple of widgets over here and the widgets on this shelf section work super fine and i have like customized it and on top it shows like never settle and here as you can see it shows the clock like this the never settle widget and looks pretty cool this is the stock wallpaper by default present over here and let me go to the settings and show you what are like the about section shows as you can see it looks like this the about section i mean and it shows the specifications over here say snapdragon 675 and stuff and device name shows up as one plus seven and as you can see we have the developer's name over here and oxygen OS version is there the android version is 10 of course and the security patch over here is from march 1st 2020 not quite may yet 
and here the stock kernel is hydra plus you can see the build number of this oxygen os and it just shows like one plus sevens oxygen os and version 1.2 let me go back we have the model number and then like some kind of awards and status options let me go back and the customizations are pretty similar to other oxygen os's in the wi-fi section it looks like this let me go to the bluetooth section as you can see we have the cast chromebook and stuff then normal bluetooth and stuff should work fine in the display settings we have the adaptive or auto brightness and as you can see the auto brightness does work it is like decreasing the brightness section over here screen calibration option is there i have like done a little bit of calibration over here because by default the display was looking a bit yellowish inside over here we have notch display you can hide the notch if you want to as you can see you can hide it like this or you can use the default one which is this one looks pretty cool i would say and here we have the apps to display kind of full screen apps option you can set per app full screen features night mode option is there and it should work as you can see it does work it makes the display yellowish let me go back we have the ambient display and there is this lift up display kind of settings let me go back we have the font size display size inside status bar we have the battery style you can change the battery icon to circle or bar or like totally hidden so i have chosen to be circle and it looks like this looks pretty cool in my opinion if you are noticing and then you can have the show battery percentage display network speed and the time you can like change the layout of this and inside icon manager we have headset bluetooth etc icons let me go back and here we have the auto rotate screen and the screen saver mode now inside customization section we have some preset themes from here as you can see nuance dark illuminati light and stuff but you can customize from here like this horizontal light feature is there if you want to have this edge lighting kind of feature whenever you are receiving a notification this should work pretty fine let me discard it and then clock style you have to enable ambient display it shows to enable clock style then you can change the wallpapers from here of course let me go back and you can change the accent colors to these many options as you can see you can have like in-depth customizations for the accent colors so that's not a problem and from here you can have the like behind the background color to dark or light or colorful so that's pretty much it inside shapes we have these four kind of shapes round square teardrop and rounded rectangle and inside icon packs again we have only one icon pack and here we have two fonts like the roboto and oneplus slate and inside sound and vibration this is how it looks like dolby atmos should not work because that's listed inside the bug section there is this earphone mode if you want to use that now if i scroll up we have the system sounds and stuff touch vibration etc and talking about that sound let me show you the quick settings panel this is how it looks like and this vibrate toggle of course is not quite stable in my opinion because as you can see right now it is on set on vibrate kind of thing but even if i tap on it it doesn't do anything so the phone does not actually go in like totally silent mode so yeah that is a kind of weird thing which i have been noticing yes it does go into general mode but it does not go totally like silent inside buttons and gestures we have the alert slider option i don't know if it will actually work or something inside navigation gesture we have this kind of full screen navigation gestures i guess and it is working fine you can also use the buttons if you want to the on screen buttons and inside quick gestures we have this three finger screenshot gesture and it does work fine you can have the expanded screenshot just like this if you're noticing it is expanding the screenshot right now a little bit so yeah the long screenshot taking feature works super fine without any issues double tap to wake is there but double tap to wake does not work over here now let me go into this apps and notifications this is how it looks like you can also see the screen time and stuff i think this is from the like digital well-being let me scroll down we have the security and lock screen here we have the face unlock and i have already set it up the face unlock so let me show you the face unlock speed and you can double tap anywhere on the home screen so that's a really cool feature one thing that i do not like is that the double tap to wake is simply not working so it makes the face unlock usability a little bit lesser because i have to tap the power button every time i want to use the face unlock as you can see right now it unlocked let's try it again as you can see this is how the face unlock speed is and in my opinion the face unlock just works like almost 100% of the time without any issues and it's like 100% accurate in my opinion and it's really really quick now let me show you the figment scanner speed now let's do it again as you can see the figment scanner is super fast without any issues it is working let me try with the right hand finger
and as you can see the fingerprint scanner is super fast no issues whatsoever now again one more thing is like really bad over here that you do not get any camera pre-installed so i had to install this google camera apk like separately so i have installed this google camera 7 apk if you need to like get the settings and stuff for this camera you can click on the card but there is no stock camera as of right now on this rom now talking about this led rgb remote app with this i have tested the ir blaster present up top on the device and this ir blaster works super fine with this led rgb remote app that is not a problem and if you are talking about banking apps i think they should work but you need to use magisk hide for that let me show you how do you do that let me go into the magisk settings we have the like magisk hide option over here so once you enable that and go over here and go to magisk hide you can search for, okay let's search pay as you can see google pay appeared you can like enable that which will show like this right and as you can see i have enabled this to like the safety net checker too right now if i check with the safety net checker app as you can see it shows passed so that means safety net is working fine you can use banking apps but you need to use magic kite for that but not 100 percent of the banking apps will work in my opinion and one cool thing over here is that the DRM info shows as level one as you are noticing over here so you should not worry about like netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p that will work fine and also from the home screen this thing i really really like is that like if you swipe from these corners just like this as you can see it opens up google assistant so that's really really cool and here is how the volume panel looks like it appears to the left and you can expand it just like this here is the geekbench 5 score on this rom volte calls and stuff should work it should not be a problem now let me switch to the battery settings this is how it looks like it shows the screen on time and stuff battery optimization settings are there and then the battery saver is there if you want to use that and you can see the full usage from here the battery life should be pretty good you can get about six plus hours of screen on time easily now inside utilities we have some quick launch and the app locker and stuff those things are there specific to oxygen os should work pretty fine now inside system one thing that i like that we have the gboard or google keyboard as pre-installed keyboard over here or the default keyboard so yeah that's cool that you do not have to mess around with any other chinese keyboard or something and i have already enabled developer options and with that like if i go over here as you can see we do have the advanced reboot option so right now if i like hold the power menu or the power button I can see the recovery or fast boot option or the bootloader option directly rebooting to recovery or fast boot option is there right now if you enable this advanced reboot. So that is a cool feature. Now I won't suggest you guys using this Oxygen OS as a daily driver but you can definitely try this Oxygen OS on your Redmi Note 7 Pro if you want to try the taste of Oxygen OS and I would say this is a quite a smooth build it does not lag at all. Let me open some of the apps and show you guys let's open instagram now facebook as you can see while like opening the app there is a bit of choppiness if you're noticing like let me open youtube now let's open play store now let's open all the apps from memory again okay so there is a bit of choppiness as you are noticing I cannot like move to one app to the home screen really really fast but yeah it works as you can see all the apps does stay in memory so the memory management should not be an issue but the animations are a little bit choppy here and there so you gotta be careful about that but all the apps do stay in memory and as you can see this is how the recent panel looks like the recent panel is really really smooth in my opinion i would say as you are noticing and you can clear all the apps from here or if you want to have a particular app in memory you can lock it from here or you can go to split screen and stuff from here so the recent panel are like is like split pretty smooth i do not have any issues while going to the recent panel as you can see it appears 100 percent of the time and the smoothness on the recent panel is like really really smooth so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now